and then when I was ready, I call him. I was just like, oh my god. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marae. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been six months now or seven. Oh my god. I didn't realize how long it's been since the last time I posted on YouTube. This is probably the longest I've gone without posting a video. I'm pretty much here to explain myself because <laughs> you guys been bombarding me on Instagram asking me um, why I'm not posting anymore on YouTube. So I'm pretty much here to explain everything that's been going on in my life. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy 4th of July. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. Grab a cup of coffee, tea, whatever you need, a snack. I have my chai latte here. So Cheers. So first of all, as you can see, I mean, you can see a difference. I cut my hair exactly on um, January 27th. I'm gonna explain how it happened. So, a wash day can be extremely long, requires a whole lot of energy every single time, especially with the natural hair. So I really wasn't looking forward to it, to be honest with y'all. And so um, I tried the product, okay? I was washing my hair, shampoo, trash, conditioner even worse. And I was just so over it that I literally got out the shower, like I wasn't even done showering. I just grabbed my towel and then grabbed my robe and then grabbed the first pair of shears that I could see and literally like just cut everything off. I didn't really regret it because I low-key wanted to cut my hair again. I remember the first chunk of hair that I cut, I was looking at myself in the mirror like, what the hell did you just do? And then I started cutting it. I was smiling in the mirror like a psychopath. Like, it was so funny to me. I was super, super excited as if it was my very first time. It definitely grew a lot, but not as fast as it did the very first time I did my big job because I haven't been taking care of this hair. First big job, I was doing hair masks. I just got massager like all the time and now it's just living my hair do its own thing and I just style it and wash it whenever I need to and then go with my day like I'm really not doing it anything extra it grew a lot I don't know if you can see there's a whole lot of shrinkage right now but um I think it's like down here um if you guys want me to show you how I style it honestly nothing has really changed I still use the same product that I did um the very first time I've tried different products but I always find myself going back to the OG products, the first one that I've been using, which is the Eco Style Gel Black Acer and Plastic Oil. Like this is the only Eco Style Gel that I use on my hair. And then I have my water bottle with the Lustre Silk the Moisturizer. So you guys know these products because I talk about them like all the time. If I tell you what I have in front of me right now, so this. <laughs> See this? So remember how I was telling you that I cut my hair in January? 27th, right? Well, this is the hair that I still have in the trash bag. Not that I kept it on purpose. I really cleaning my closet yesterday. When I cut my hair at first, you know, I was just like, okay, like, I'm probably going to post a video later on in the day and then showing the amount of hair that I cut. And then I changed my mind and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I put it somewhere in my closet and totally forgot about it. And I can't believe that I've been in my closet. I've seen my closet for this long and didn't even notice this. Like, this is disgusting. But yeah, so that's pretty much my hair. <laughs> that's, <pretty, laughs> that's pretty much my hair. This is disgusting. But yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The second topic is gonna be a little bit more serious than that. Um, so long story short, a few months ago, I was um, involved in a um, car accident. Like it was really, really bad. And I'll explain exactly what happened. And I just feel like this made me, um, this changed me, I feel like. It changed me and whenever I'm stressed out, I shut down. I isolate myself and I don't like to talk about my problems I really don't like to ask for help I guess it's a Libra thing like we're always there for people but we don't like to talk about our problems and so I'm the kind of person I'd rather deal with it on my own long story short since the beginning of 2020 I've been in a funky mood like 
I don't know. I was trying to understand what was going on and I thought that, you know, maybe traveling would have changed something and I did a couple of times. It hasn't and I was just like, okay, you gotta figure it out because I'm just not feeling like myself and I don't like that. When this whole accident happened, I was already not truly really happy about certain stuff in my life and I felt like this added more negativity on top of the way I was already feeling, if it makes sense. It actually happened on May 3rd, like beginning of May. So long story short, I was on the highway and the crazy thing is I was not even like five minutes away from my place. Like I was literally on my way home. It was like what, like one or 2 p.m. There was this big old truck on my left. I don't even know why my voice is like cracking right now. Like why am I shaking, what the hell? All of us obviously were going like the same way. So imagine two cars going the same way and then out of nowhere you see a car making a u-turn and hitting yours like head to head so that's pretty much what happened with mine i guess her car hydroplane or something because it actually rained a little bit that day so i guess the road was a little bit like slippery or something i couldn't do anything like i couldn't like switch lanes or something because i was probably gonna hit the truck and it could have been worse i closed my eyes prayed in my head honestly i don't remember the rest because i passed out and um, it's the smoke from my car that actually woke me up. And I remember like just waking up like panicking. The first person I called, my older sister, she was trying to call me down on the phone. The airbags, everything came out, um, hers as well. And I remember I was, I panicked. Like I've never panicked like that ever in my life. I had like my friend that was actually calling me like regarding something else. She had no idea about the accident, obviously, because I wasn't I wasn't on the phone with like anybody. And in my voice, like she could tell that there was something wrong. So I couldn't even talk and then I hung up. And then she called my other friend who was here at home with me. She told her because the first friend that actually called me was out of town. She called my other friend and my other friend called me panicking, ask, asking me what was going on. And I told her and she was like, where are you? And she came and picked me up. So the way it happened is like both cars were like that. Hers was against the wall and then mine was right next to it against the passenger door. So the officer um, had to like ask me to like back up just so, you know, um, they could open the door for her and then, you know, cut like the airbags and all of that. I was really, really shaken up. And I guess at first it's the adrenaline. So I couldn't really feel anything until like maybe like an hour or two later. The ambulance even came and asked me if I was okay. And I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty rude. Like, I was just so shaken up. Even the officer, like he was, I was like, please like leave me alone. Just give me like a few minutes. And he was like, all right, all right, take your time, take your time. He went back into his car, and then when I was ready, I called him. I was just like, oh my god. Later on, maybe like 30, 45 minutes later, I was still in the car, and that's when the towing truck actually came because my car wasn't working anymore. Like, it was pretty much destroyed, and hers too. And then that's when I started feeling like super, super dizzy, and I didn't even realize it, but I had like a huge bruise on my stomach from like the seat belt. And um, also I have like a, with the whiplash as well, um, my neck and my back killing me. You know, I've been going to the gym, but I had to pause that part too. You know, I've been very limited doing like some of the stuff that I usually do. I've been seeing a chiropractor. I'm still seeing him till this day and um, definitely getting better. Thank God. I, I still have to see him for maybe like one more month or something. A few weeks ago, I tried to drive my friend's car when I'm telling you, I was, I had this huge anxiety, I was shaking, so I was like, okay, clearly, I'm still not ready to start driving yet, so I'm gonna take my time, no rush, so I have a big old project that I've been working on, but I can't talk about it legally, I can't wait until they give me the green light to share this information with you guys, it's so, so, so exciting, pretty much what happened, um, I'm really, really glad to be here and be back, I just feel like I have, like, a huge weight off of my shoulders i took my time but <laughs> i didn't realize it was gonna take this long so i just want to apologize for that i truly want to and yeah and i will see you guys very soon Mwah.